Hey, this is Greg Hawks. Welcome to the live stream and another sourcing in real life thing a week. Today, I'm actually going to take a question. I had someone email me, Joe uh, had emailed me about uh, uh, pulling candidate information from conference attendee lists and association directories. And he works in a very specific industry. He works um, in uh, ceramics and glass, and that's definitely a niche market, not something that we usually look for. Um, and he also has some uh, some uh, societies and associations that he's already identified. So it looks like he's on the right track. That's definitely where I would start, especially if there's societies or conferences that, that do this sort of thing. I would look there. And what, what he's asking is, how do I pull out the information? How do I get the information uh, and, and utilize it? And what are some of the, the tools around that? Um, I mean, I talk about scrapers a lot, but let me just take a look with this first this first um, association here and see what we can find and see what we can do to help. So they have meeting as events, they have memberships. Um, a lot of times you can register or sign into these these societies or associations. Sometimes they'll have membership lists like if you if you pay uh, a membership fee and let's see I'm just look a lot of times if you just look through a member member directory it looks like it's locked so unfortunately you, you a lot of times you can you can go through the back door and, and try to find your way in you can sign up and log in a lot of ways or you can search for similar conferences if I just put in let's see ceramic ceramic and glass maybe and I always like to go through a conference site called sketch and I've shown this a couple of times because it's it's pretty pretty spot on if you look for general stuff. It's a very niche market though, so I'm going to see what I can do. So they have a glass gang. I mean that might be something. Um, let's see. And hopefully you can see this on the live stream. Sometimes the live stream makes the, the picture blurry. Let me go back here. And vacuum coders, vacuum society. Wow, that's like super niche. It would help if I would spell ceramic right. Spell vacuum too. Now this might be something. AIC's annual meeting. AIC's 47th meeting. 45th. Let's take a look into this. This looks promising. And we have speakers. I mean, I, I always go after the speakers they're leaders in the industry. Maybe not what we're looking for. Oh no, that, that is sculpture. Maybe so. I got sculpture on there. Museum of Art, Codings Engineer, Associate Research Scientist, and even spelled Research Scientist. They've got they've got some people here. It's more mu museum folks, but that's just a, a general example. Uh, let me go back. Let me go back. 
co-author. I haven't seen co-authors. That might be another dynamic we can search by. Look at this. Physical scientist. Chemist. I mean, th those are prospective people that I would maybe take a look at. I'm not really sure what, what Joe is looking for. Um, but he's on the right track. So basically you can find a list of people. Uh, so what do we, what do we do with it? How do I house this into the right information? Well, I've actually created a data mining recipe already for, for Sketch. I want to show you the vortex. That was the vortex. You just you just saw the vortex. Hold in the wrong window. See sketch. Got to love live stream. And so I already have this in data miner. So I believe it's public. Is it? Oh, it's a public recipe. So even if you're not familiar with data miner, install it. And what you can do is you can highlight one of these individuals here right click go to get similar and then another window will pop up don't worry about all this stuff especially Joe if you're seeing this and I mean that's my recipe so basically all you got to do is run and it pulls the link it pulls the company the title the name that's a list to start with and look how many people are in here wow that's a lot of people that's a that's 200 people that's a hell of a list. Now, and the job title will help you identify really what they're about. Now, the other thing is, okay, I've got this list, and you can download it to CSV or or um, Excel file. What what do we do with this? Well, this is where the research aspect comes into play. You can pull a list. You've got the names. You've got your pipeline. Now, what's what's going what you're gonna need to do is go through each one of them, look them up. Um, a good reference point is, see this is what the list looks like, is, let me see, a lot of times you can click into each one of these profiles, sometimes they'll have the media there, sometimes they won't. So I literally, a lot of times, will just look them up on LinkedIn, and that's a point of contact. The other thing you can do, you can use a tool called Hire Tool. And they have a cross-referencing function, and that's on uh, one of my earlier videos. I believe it's uh, thing week 11. Uh, and I'll show you how to in that, in that video. I'll show you how to um, go through and, and use a cross-referencing function, and they've ma actually made some additional updates. So I would; those are two points of of cross-referencing that you can use. I would assume if they're a speaker, if they're a co-author, they're also on some of the publication sites and out there on on social media a lot of times if you just google somebody you can find additional information on them a lot of times they'll have contact information I mean so this is probably her I'm assuming I look phone number it looks like she's not she's not local to to the US but I mean that's how a lot of conferences are so I mean really you, you've got to tailor it you've got to put in the right keywords it sounds like Joe has identified some places to find conference lists this is an easy way to do it a lot of times you can just you can just Google the conference list or Google the the, the forum or association and if you if you join as a member and a lot of times if you register as a member it's free you can you can look through the directory and a lot of times they'll have contact information you don't have to do all this but I wanted to show you what to do not only how to find them but what to do with that information once you do so that's it I'm gonna keep it short today hopefully that helps thanks for joining the live stream if you did join the live stream and uh, I'll see you next week